now we have a problem here it says the hcf and lcm of two numbers are 8 and 336 respectively if one of the numbers is 56 find the other number so it is given that for two numbers the hcf is 8 and the lcm is 336 one of the numbers is 56 and we need to find the other number now how do we do that i know that if i am given two numbers i can find their hcf also if i am given two numbers i can find their lcm but if i am given hcf and lcm how do i find the numbers so is there any relation between hcf lcm and the numbers let us see so we take two numbers 10 and 14 and we will find the hcf and lcm of these two numbers so i prime factorize 10 to get 2 into 5 and i prime factorize 14 to get 14 equal to 2 into 7 now what will be their hcf hcf is the highest common factor so 2 is a common prime factor it is the only common prime factor so the hcf of 10 and 14 is 2 now what about the lcm now in order to find the lcm i first write the common prime factor which is 2 here and then i write the factors which are present in either of them so 2 into 5 into 7 so the lcm will be 2 into 5 into 7 which is equal to 70 so the lcm of 10 and 14 is 70 so i get the hcf as 2 and the lcm as 70 and the numbers are 10 and 14 now let us find the product of these numbers why we'll see later so the product or the multiplication of 10 and 14 gives us 140 and let us also multiply the hcf and lcm so the product of hcf and lcm is 2 into 70 which is 140 so i see that the product of the numbers is 140 and the product of hcf and lcm is also 140 so these are the same so we have now found the relation between the numbers and their hcf and lcm what is the relation the relation is the product of the numbers is equal to the product of hcf and lcm of the two numbers so this is a very important property or relation between the numbers and their hcf and lcm it says the product of numbers is equal to hcf into lcm or you can also write first number into second number is equal to hcf into lcm so you can take any two numbers and try out you will see that you always get this result that is this property or this relation always holds true now if we come back to our original question in which we have hcf lcm and one number and we need to find the other number we can solve it using this property so i know first number i know hcf and i know lcm and i need to find the second number so putting the values we get this equation and i can find the second number by 8 into 336 by 56 so if i solve this i get the answer as 48 so the second number is 48 now how can you verify your answer 
So take 48 and the other number is 56. Find their HCF. You will see that their HCF is 8. And if you find their LCM, you will see that their LCM is 336. So this is how you can solve problems of this type using this relation. So the relation is product of the numbers is equal to the product of HCF and LCM. Now we have another problem here. It says that the LCM of two numbers 123 and 1681 is 5043. Find their HCF. Now over here I know the two numbers. So I can easily find their HCF by the common division method or the prime factorization method, any method. So let us try and do that. Now if I take the smallest prime number which is 2, I see that these numbers are not divisible by 2. If I go to the next prime number 3, I will see that 123 is divisible by 3 but 1681 is not divisible by 3. Then if I go to the next prime number which is 5, I will see that these numbers are not divisible by 5. Even the next prime number 7. So these numbers are not divisible by 7. Continuing in this manner, you will realize that it will take a lot of time for you to actually solve this and find the HCF using the common division method or even the prime factorization method. So what do I do now? Over here, since I know the LCM of these numbers, I can use this relation or this property so first number into second number is HCF into LCM. I know the first number, I know the second number and I know the LCM. So I can easily find the HCF. So by putting the values I get this and I can solve for HCF. So HCF is given by 123 into 1681 divided by 5043. If you solve this you get the answer that HCF is equal to 41. So this HCF which was very difficult to find can be easily solved using this relation. So this is a very important relation or a very important property and you must always remember it. But this relation is valid only for two numbers. If you have more than two numbers then this relation will not hold. So if you have three numbers or more than three numbers then the product of the numbers will not be equal to the product of their HCF and LCM. This holds only when we have just two numbers. Now let us look at some other important properties of HCF and LCM. Now the HCF of any set of numbers, so not just 2 but 3, 4, 5, any set of numbers is always less than or equal to the smallest number. So if I have some numbers, the HCF will always be less than or equal to the smallest number. Also the LCM of any set of numbers is always greater than or equal to the greatest number. So the LCM will either be equal to or more than the greatest number for any set of numbers. So these are some important properties of HCF and LCM and you should always keep them in mind whenever you need to find the HCF or LCM of any set of numbers. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSC, ICSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures on maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged 
and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts and that's not all you can also win exciting prizes like playstations ipads watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at deltastep.com learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now